Hello and welcome back to another Project Diablo 2 video. I am Kordesh and today we are going to be answering the question, is Fist of Heaven's Paladin complete dog shit now? So on the beta, the Fist of Heaven's got a substantial nerf from 12% of synergies down to 9%. Now this definitely lowers the damage output. It did get a compensation buff with Holy Bolt where the synergies went from 8% to 9% and they got flat magic damage at specific levels so yeah we're gonna go ahead and jump into a throne of insanity map uh so we have a couple here none of them are super high density so i'm gonna try and make a couple more um let's see here uh sure this seems kind of deadly with a lot of max life but that well, sounds like fun this burr rune by the way uh I messed up and did not switch my scene, so I was recording the video, and I legitimately found that the last map. So anyways, I'm very sad that I did not record that. So we're jumping into the map, and uh, I guess I should show I have level 45 Fist of the Heavens. So we're going through, and we're going to try and just keep casting Fist of Heavens when there's a lot of monsters. I have my Redemption on my left click, which means I can right click my Fist of Heavens, which is pretty fun. Uh, I do not have a mercenary. Whenever I try and buy one, uh, it crashes the game on the beta. So we're going to just roll with no merc, which is definitely going to make this a little bit sketchier. So, so far, uh, Fist of Heaven seems okay. It does definitely, uh, I can feel the nerf. Ooh, this is also kind of rough. I feel like Holy Bolt is just shining here. And when there's a lot of different monsters, and this is kind of deadly. I'm going to have to kite back a little bit. So when there's a lot of monsters, it's almost better to just holy bolt them in a line. Uh, I currently don't have a loot filter active, so looting potions and getting rejuves while you're going is a real pain in the butt. But I, I did have amp damage, and there was a fanaticism pack. But yeah, the, uh, the clear speed just feels a little bit worse than the last time I played this. Um... Once you get into these big open rooms like this, it definitely feels better. But realistically, I, I kind of think you're just better off casting Holy Bolt most of the time, because that's your single target, and a lot of these things are just hallways, and so if we position correctly, we can just Holy Bolt through everything. And as you can see, that's kind of already clear, uh, getting our clear speed up and running. So... Uh, when there's a big pack like this and it spawns a bunch of Holy Bolts, sure, we can go back to Fist of Heavens. Uh, when they're on top of us, let's go ahead and switch back to Holy Bolt. And yeah, I think that this nerf is, uh, I don't know if it's warranted, uh, cause it was, uh, the, the, the character was very powerful, but, uh, it definitely feels substantial. So, yeah. Uh, I might have to update the power ranking, power rankings of the character, and to be honest, I, I, you might not have a Fist of Heaven's Paladin so much as a Holy Bolt Paladin, because I mean, realistically, a Holy Bolt is kind of feeling better than Fist at this moment. Um, so yeah, it's kind of slow. Let's uh, let's go ahead and I'm gonna jump into a Chaos Sanctuary, and I don't have teleport. So we're just going to charge around and hope to get there quickly. So we'll see how fast we can do a Chaos with uh, pretty good gear. So we're charging around. Just going to blow up some stuff. Alright, so here's Chaos Sanctuary. Again, with these small packs, I'm just going to Holy Bolt. Now, these bigger packs, Fist of the Heavens should just make quick work of them. Especially in areas like this. So yeah, it's that seems to be doing pretty well. Feels pretty good. trying to skip that stuff we're just trying to kill the big groups so we can do two things there we can just fist of heavens one target and have all the holy bolt spawn 
and go into a line, or we can just cast Holy Bolt. So both of them are good options. But yeah, the big the big thing that I've noticed here is Holy Bolt hits very very hard, very substantially hard. So we'll see how fast Diablo dies. I do like these buff timers. So it's nice to see that my buff is about to run out. I do not have Kanapi Frozen, but that is okay. We're just going to keep on charging around. And there's a lot of monsters like this. Fist of Heaven is still awesome. Very good. But it's just not probably is it's just not as powerful and let's go ahead and finish it off lots of stuff on the ground let's run over to Diablo I mean, Holy Bolt seems great, but Fist of Heavens, not so much. So, so yeah, that's kind of where we're at. As far as itemization, uh, I know that there have been people that want to use Enigma with uh, a Scepter with a Rune Word, where you stack up Fist of Heavens to high levels. You really highlight that lightning damage. I think that that is also a trap, especially with all of these synergies getting hit. Um, that lightning damage, you're going to have to run Conviction instead of Redemption, and that's going to really hurts your recovery you're gonna you're gonna have to keep switching back and forth uh, but yeah holy bolt very impressive lots of damage i mean that's a ton of magic damage and fist of heavens feels pretty weak now it's just not as solid it also for some reason it felt like the it like was not getting things into hit recovery as well as holy bolt um so it's possible that i'm just used to playing with a merc and that provided like a layer of tankiness in front of me so I could just free cast um, but yeah so I'm not I, I feel like I'd have to lower the power rankings a bit probably on clear speed mainly the single target is actually improved but the clear speed definitely took a hit so anyways uh, if you want to play a Fist of Heavens Paladin I definitely still recommend it um, it's a fairly easy and cheap character Holy Bolt it's it's not really a fist of heavens paladin anymore it's it's definitely you're using both of these um holy bolt and fist of heavens have the exact same synergies except for prayer and so yeah anyways uh, i hope you enjoyed this and no fist of heavens is not dog shit it is totally fine but it does feel weaker and that's pretty much it hey sorry i wanted to add a quick edit so I do think that the Fist of Heavens Paladin, I would not recommend it anymore. I think that if you are to play this character, you are a Holy Bolt Paladin. Fist of Heavens will be a supplemental skill that uh, works well in certain situations, kind of like Holy Nova. But I think that the itemization completely changes now with how strong Holy Bolt had, had felt in those uh, in that map. And I would itemize differently. So I'm going to go ahead and show my screen. So there's two um, weapons that I think are really good for Holy Bolt. Specifically, Hand of Blessed Light gives plus two to Paladin skills. And then if you get a plus four to Holy Bolt, that's going to be a plus six to Holy Bolt, which is obviously very good. On top of that, on top of that, there's also the Redeemer, which is exactly the same. You can get a plus two and a plus four for a plus six. Now, I think that... Uh, because of this, you you're gonna want one of these uh, one of these two weapons, and that means that you're gonna have to go away from the Griswold set, which really changes up the itemization. But realistically, I would recommend going a Holy Bolt Paladin this league over a Fist of Heavens Paladin. So, anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.